welcome to DVMS course. In this session, we will discuss about types of keys in relational model. So, let us start the session. What is a key? A key is a set of attributes which can identify the records of a relation uniquely. Types of keys are candidate key, primary key, alternate key, super key, simple key, compound key, surrogate key and the last one is foreign key. So, let us discuss each of these keys one by one. The first one is candidate key. What is a candidate key? Minimal set of attributes which can be used to differentiate the records of a relation. So, the set of attributes which we can use to identify the records of a relation uniquely and that should be minimal, sir. That is called candidate key. For example, suppose we have a relation with three attributes A, B, C. For this relation, the set with attribute A is a candidate key because the values of the attribute are A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So, all the values are distinct. That means the attribute A can be used to identify the records of the relation uniquely. And for the same relation, the attribute set with attributes B, C is also a candidate key. Okay. Instead of writing set with B, C, generally we write B, C. So, this is one notation which we follow sometimes. The next one is primary key. What is a primary key? Any one of the candidate keys can be designated as a primary key. So, the selection of primary key completely depends on us. When we have more than one candidate key, I can select any one of them as a primary key. For example, in this relation, we have two candidate keys. One is A and the second one is B, C. I can designate A as a primary key. Is that fine, sir? Alternate key. Any candidate key other than the primary key. For example, for this relation, we have chosen A is a primary key. When this is a primary key, the remaining candidate keys. What are the remaining candidate keys, sir? The remaining candidate keys, the set with attributes BC. These are called alternate keys. Here I have only one alternate key. Is it okay? The next one is prime attribute and non-prime attribute. What is a prime attribute? The attribute which is present in any one of the candidate keys is called prime attribute. So, what is non-prime attribute, sir? The attribute which is not prime attribute. For example, suppose we have a relation with attributes A, B, C, D, E with candidate keys A, C, comma, B. So, we have two candidate keys, sir. One is A, C. The second one is B, C. Now, if I want to write prime attributes, if you want to write prime attributes, the attribute must present in any one of the candidate keys. Now, first let us verify whether A is a prime attribute or not. A is present in A, C, sir. So, it is a prime attribute. What about B, sir? B is present in candidate key B. So, it is also a prime attribute. What about C, sir? It is also present in candidate key A, C. So, this is a prime attribute. What about D, sir? D is not present in any one of the candidate keys. So, I cannot say this is a prime attribute. What about E, sir? The same story. E is also not present in any one of the candidate keys. So, it is not a prime attribute. These two attributes are not prime attributes. So, that is why these are non-prime attributes. Non-prime attributes. Is it okay, sir? So, let us solve some small question on prime attributes. Suppose R is a relation with attributes A, B, C, D, E, F, G with candidate keys A, C, B, E, G. So, we have three candidate keys. The first one is A, C, the second one is B, E and the third one is G. Now, I want to find the prime attributes. So, how to find the prime attributes are? <coughs> the first one A. A is present in first candidate key. So, that is why it is a prime attribute. What about B, sir? B is present in second candidate key. So, it is also a prime attribute. What about C, sir? C is present in first candidate key. It is fine. So, what about D? Now, D is not present in any one of these three candidate keys. So, that is why it is not a prime attribute. What about E, sir? 
E is present in the second candidate key. So it is a prime attribute. What about F? It is not present in any one of the candidate keys. So that's why it is not a prime attribute. What about G? G is present in the third candidate key. So it is an example of a prime attribute. So what are the prime attributes, sir? The prime attributes are A, B, C, E, G. Is that clear, sir? <clears throat> Let us solve one small previous question, sir. A prime attribute, a prime attribute of a relation schema or is an attribute that appears. What is a prime attribute, sir? Prime attribute is an attribute which is present in any one of the candidate keys. Okay. Some people will confuse that prime attribute means it should present in primary key. It is not like that, sir. Prime attribute can be present in any one of the candidate keys. If the attribute present in one of the candidate keys, I can say it is a prime attribute. Is that clear, sir? So the first option is in all candidate keys of R. It may not be present in all candidate keys, sir. Present in one candidate key is enough. So option A is not correct. What about C, sir? It is in a foreign key. Actually, we the primary attributes concern with candidate keys only. So that's say this is not our answer. What about next one, sir? In some candidate key. Yes, the primary attribute must present in any one of the candidate keys. So this is our answer. Is that clear, sir? Simple key. What is a simple key? <laughs> key with exactly one attribute. In this example, we have two candidate keys. One is A and the second one is BC. In this, the first one is having only one attribute. So it is an example of a simple key. The second one is not a simple key, sir. Why? Because it is having two attributes. The next one is composite key. What is a composite key? A key with two or more attributes is called composite key. For example, let us consider the same example. This is the first candidate key and this is our second one. Here I have only one attribute. So this cannot be a composite key. And what about here, sir? Here it is having two attributes. So it is an example of a composite key. Is that fine? So the next one is super key. What is a super key? Any superset of a candidate key is a super key. Any superset of a candidate key. So if I have a candidate key, if I read all the supersets of that particular candidate key, every one of them is a super key. For example, in this relation, this is a candidate key. This is a candidate key. So what are the supersets of this candidate key, sir? So the supersets are the set A itself is a superset. And I can write A comma B. We can write A comma C. And I can write A, B, C. So all these are supersets of the candidate key A. So every one of them, every one of them is a super key. Okay. And here we have one more candidate key, sir. What is one more candidate key? BC. Am I right, sir? So this is one candidate key. So all the supersets of this candidate key is also super keys. So what are the supersets of this one, sir? The supersets of BC are B comma C and A, B, C. A, B, C we have already written, sir. So these are the candidate keys. So totally how many candidate keys we have in this example, sir? Sorry, super keys. One, two, three, four, five. This is repeated. So forget about it. So this is about the story of super keys. <coughs> so then note. X is a super key if some subset of X is a candidate key. According to the definition, whenever I am saying this is a super key, it must be a super set of a candidate key. Whenever it is a super set of a candidate key, surely there will be one subset which is a candidate key. So now let us see one question, sir. Suppose I have a relation with five attributes A, B, C, D, E with candidate key B. 
then find the number of super keys for relation R. Sir, this is one of the most expected question in our gate exam, sir. So now let us try to calculate the number of super keys for this relation. Okay. So suppose I want to make a super key. So first I need to write a set with attributes. Okay. In the attributes, first a candidate key must present. So that means I want to write the candidate key. So this is mandatory. Because in a super key, candidate key must be present. Fine. Now all the remaining attributes are optional. That means either I can include or I can exclude. So that I can form the supersets of this set. So coming to A, this attribute I can include, sir, and I can exclude. So this is having two possibilities. Similarly, what about C, sir? I can include, I can exclude. Two possibilities. What about D, sir? Two possibilities. What about E, sir? Two possibilities. Only for B, there is only one possibility because it must present. I cannot exclude it. Compulsory, I need to include that attribute because it is a candidate key. So, by the product rule, by the product rule, what is the total number of possibilities, sir? The number of super keys. The number of super keys is equal to what, sir? 2 into 2 into 2 multiplied by 2. So, total it is equal to 16. Is that clear, sir? The next problem. The same relation with five attributes, sir. Now, the candidate key is having two attributes. One is B, the second one is E. That means, in my relation, this is mandatory. So, this is having only one option. Similarly, E is mandatory. So, this is also having only one option. Now, what about A, sir? It is having two options. It can present or cannot present. I mean, may not present. So, C, it can be included, it can be excluded. What about D, sir? The same story. It is having two options. So, what is the number of super keys? The number of super keys is equal to 2 into 2 into 2, which is equal to 8. Now, in these two questions, I have only one candidate key. When we have only one candidate key, it is very easy to calculate because we need to fix those two attributes are that candidate key. The remaining attributes are having two, two options. So I can count the remaining attributes and I can do 2 into 2 into number of times. So that is very easy, sir. But when the relation is having more than one candidate key, so that means it is having two candidate keys or it is having three candidate keys, how to calculate the number of super keys. So that is what we are going to see next. Suppose I have a relation with the same five attributes A, B, C, D, E. But now I have two candidate keys. This is first one, this is second one. We have two candidate keys. When we are having two candidate keys or more candidate keys, how to find the number of super keys? To find the super keys, when we have two or more candidate keys, there are two procedures. The first one is we use principle of inclusion, comma exclusion, which we have learned in our set theory in mathematics. Okay. Now, since I have two candidate keys, I use the first formula. If I have three candidate keys, I will use the second formula. Modulus of x union y is equal to modulus of x plus modulus of y minus modulus of x intersection y. Okay. Now, let us solve it. Suppose x is the set of super keys. Set of super keys which contains the candidate key AB. Which contains the candidate key AB. Then what is modulus of x? That is the number of supersets which contains AB. What is modulus of AB, sir? So to calculate this one, let me do it here. Okay. So let me do it here. We have five attributes, sir. In those A comma B, these two are having only one option. All the remaining C, D, E, these three are having two, two possibilities. So modulus of X is equal to 2 power 3 because we have three attributes which are having two, two possibilities. Now let us suppose that Y, the same story, sir, the number of super keys which contains the second candidate key. 
BD. So in such case, what is modulus of Y, sir? So modulus of Y means it should contain B comma D. So B is mandatory, D is mandatory. These two are having one one possibilities. Now A is having two, C is having two, E is having two. So the total possibilities will be two power three. What about X intersection Y, sir? The set of super keys which contains both AB comma BD. So AB comma BD, sir. That means in my set, A is mandatory, B is mandatory, D is mandatory. So these three attributes are having one one option. What about C, sir? It is having two options. E is having two options. So what will be modulus of X intersection Y? Two power two. So now we have all the values: modulus of X, modulus of Y, modulus of X intersection Y. So this is our modulus of X, sir. This is our modulus of Y, and this is our modulus of X intersection Y. Am I right, sir? Now let me substitute here. What will happen, sir? This is two power three plus two power three minus two square. So I hope it is eight plus eight minus four. This twelve. Is that clear, sir? So this is the procedure to calculate the number of super keys using principle of inclusion and exclusion. Now let us see the second procedure to find the number of super keys. We use one formula. What is that formula? The number of super keys is equal to number of super keys among prime attributes. That means we need to form the super keys by using only prime attributes. So we need to count such type of super keys. So what is the count of super keys? Which is formed only with prime attributes. That is the first point. Multiplied by two power number of non-prime attributes. Number of non-prime attributes is very easy, sir. We know how to find prime attributes. So I can count the number of non-prime attributes. So in this example, let us verify it, sir. First, let me calculate which is easy one. Number of non-primes. To calculate this one, what we need, sir? What are prime attributes? Prime attributes are A, B, D. So, what will be non primes? C, comma, E. So, the number of non prime attributes is equal to 2. Is that fine, sir? So we calculated the number of non primes, which is very easy. Okay, now let us calculate the second one number of super keys, which can be formed by using only prime attributes. So, what are the prime attributes, sir? Just now we have seen primes. What are primes? A, B, C. So the number of super keys. Sir, super key means first of all it must be a superset of a candidate key. So let us consider the candidate keys one by one and we find the supersets which consists of only the prime attributes. So the first one A, B, sir. So for this what are the supersets? The supersets are A, B, fine. Then I can include A, B, D. So this is also a super key with primes. Now, one small question is, can I say this is a super key with prime attributes, sir? No, because C is not a prime attribute. So that's why it is not a super key which formed with prime attributes. So I should not count this. I have only these two, which contains of or which contains the candidate key A, B. Now, what about the second candidate key? That is BD. So, what are the super keys which can be formed with this candidate key BD? BD is the first one, sir, and I can include ABD. Okay, sir. So, this is about the super keys. Now, what is the total number of super keys we are having? The total number of super keys, sir. 1, 2, 3. This is repeated, sir. This we have already counted. So the number of super keys. So let me write it here, sir. Number of 
नंबर ऑफ सुपर किस विथ प्राइम्स हाउ मेनी वी हैव सर वी हैव थ्री सो व्हाट इज द आंसर फॉर नाउ टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ किस the number of super keys with primes that is 3 multiplied by 2 power the number of non prime attributes what is the number of non prime attributes are 2 square so that will be 3 into 4 equal to 12 is that clear sir so this is the second procedure to calculate the number of super keys here we need to identify the number of non prime attributes that is the first one the second one is we need to identify the number of super keys which can be formed by using only prime attributes. now let us solve one more question sir suppose we have a relation r with six attributes a b c d e f with candidate keys a b comma e so how many candidate keys we have we have two candidate keys so i can apply the formula modulus of x union y is equal to modulus of x plus modulus of y minus modulus of x intersection y am i clear sir so now let us calculate the first one x is the number of super keys the number of super keys which contains the first candidate key what is first candidate key sir ab am i right sir so what will be our modulus of x so total six attributes out of six two are mandatory that means the remaining four are optional so totally four attributes for each of them two two options so modulus of x is given by 2 into 2 into 2 so that is 2 square sorry 2 power 4 which is equal to 16 so what about the next one sir the number of super keys which contains the second one e what is modulus of y sir so total six attributes out of six now e is mandatory so one attribute is mandatory the remaining can be optional so five attributes are having two two possibilities so modulus of y is given by 2 2 2 2 so total it will be 2 power 5 which is equal to 32 what about x intersection y sir the number of super keys which contains both candidate keys a b e so out of six now three attributes are mandatory sir when three attributes are mandatory what are the remaining number of attributes i have three more those three are optional so each one is having two two possibilities 2 into 2 into 2 that will be equal to 2 cube which is equal to 8 now according to the formula what is our answer sir modulus of x plus modulus of y minus modulus of x intersection y so what is the answer for this sir modulus of x is equal to 16 modulus of y is equal to 32 modulus of x intersection y is equal to 8 so i hope it is 48 minus 8 which is equal to 40 is it okay the next question suppose we have a relation with seven attributes a b c d e f g with candidate keys now please verify sir we have three candidate keys 1 2 3 so we have three candidate keys this question either we can solve by using principle of inclusion comma exclusion or we can solve by using the formula now i will solve this question in both of the ways sir in exam you follow the method which you feel comfortable okay so what is the formula with three sets sir so let me write the formula modulus of x union y union z is equal to modulus of x plus modulus of y plus modulus of z minus modulus of x intersection y modulus of x intersection z modulus of y intersection z plus modulus of x intersection y intersection z okay sir so let's give some space to write the answers let's calculate the values 
modulus of x and everything one by one. The first one x. Let us calculate directly, sir. So x is the number of super keys which consists of a b. So what will be modulus of x? So out of seven, two are mandatory. The remaining are five. So two power five. What is y, sir? The number of super keys which consists of b d. Out of seven, two are mandatory. The remaining are five. So now z will be the number of super keys which consists of f. Out of seven, one is mandatory, sir. So since one is mandatory, the remaining six are optional. That is two power six. What is x intersection y? X intersection y means a, b, b, d. So three attributes are mandatory, sir. Since three attributes are mandatory, out of seven, the remaining four are optional. So that is two power four. What about x intersection z, sir? X is uh, a b. I think z is f. So out of seven, three are mandatory. The remaining four are optional. What about next one, sir? Y intersection z. Y is b d, and z is f. So again, out of seven, three are mandatory. Sorry, I think this is y right. So y intersection z. The remaining four are optional. What about x intersection y intersection z? So this is equal to a. I need to include a b, b d, comma f. So we want to include these three. So if I include these three, how many attributes are mandatory, sir? A, B, D. So totally four are mandatory. So the remaining three, the remaining three are optional. Is that fine, sir? Now let me substitute these values in our formula. So this is two power five. I think let us write uh, the values. Two power five is thirty-two. 32, 2 power 6 is 64, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 3 is 8. Now let me substitute the values here. 32 plus 32 plus 64 minus 16 minus 16 minus 16 plus 8. So what is the value, sir? 32 plus 32, 64, 64, 64, 128. Three sixteens are 48 plus 8. So 128 minus 48. I hope it is 80 plus 8, which is equal to 88. So this is the number of super keys for this relation. So this is the first procedure. That is with principle of inclusion, comma exclusion to find the number of super keys. When we have three candidate keys, if you are having four candidate keys, then I need to extend the formula modulus of x union, y union, z union, some w. So we need to write the formula for four sets. Okay. Now let us solve the same question by using the formula. So what is the formula, sir? First, let me write the formula. So the number of super keys is equal to we need to multiply two things the first one is number of super keys which can be formed only using primes multiplied by 2 power number of non primes number of non primes so let us do it, sir. The first one or easy one is number of non primes. What is the number of non primes, sir? Out of seven, A, B, C, F. So out of seven, four are prime attributes. Prime means which is present in any one of the candidate keys. So totally we have four primes. So the remaining three will be non primes so the number of non primes or if you want to can write here sir c 
E, G. These are non primes. These are non primes. So the number of non primes is equal to 3. So that is our first one. Now we need to calculate the second one. The number of super keys which can be formed by using only prime attributes. Okay. So we need to find the super keys which can be formed by using only primes. Okay. First, let me calculate with AB. Okay. So with AB. What are the super sets for AB, sir? AB. Sir, when we are writing super sets, we need to add only the prime attributes because I want to find the super keys which can be formed with the prime attributes. So with AB, I can add the prime attributes. What are the primes, sir? Let me write it here. So the primes are A, B, B, F totally 4. So these 4 are important. Now we have already AB sir. So with AB what we need to include? We need to include the remaining. I can include D. I can include F. I can include both. So this is our first set. Now let me write the super case with BD. BD we can do it sir and can we include ABD? Yes, we can include ABD. Okay, but ABD is already repeated sir. Okay, let me write later. Okay, ABD fine. Then what we can write? B, D, F and I can include both of them. A, B, D, F. So these are the super keys which can be formed with BD. What about with F sir? With F? F is the first one. I can write AF. I can write BF. I can write DF. Then I can write ABF. I can write ADF. I can write BDF. And the last one is ABDF. Merit, sir. So these are the seven. Now let us count. So this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. This is fifth one. Sir, this is repeated. BDF, sixth one. This is also repeated. F, this is seventh one. AF, eighth one. BF, ninth one. DF, tenth one. ABF, ABF is already repeated, sir. ADF, ADF. Is there any ADF, sir? Hope I think it's not there. So it is eleventh one. BDF, that was in sixth. So it was repeated. ABDF, that was in fourth. So this is also repeated. So the number of super keys with primes equal to how many sir? 11. So now we are ready with our two values. Now we are ready with our two values. So the first one is the number of super keys with primes is equal to 11. And the next one is the number of non primes that is equal to th sorry 3. So the answer will be the number of super keys with primes that is 11 multiplied by 2 power non primes that is 3. So which is equal to 8. So that is equal to 88. Hope in the previous procedure also we got the same answer that is equal to 88. Is that clear sir? So these are the procedures to find the number of super keys when they given candidate keys and relation. Is that clear sir? Let us do a small question, previous question sir. The maximum number of super keys. The maximum number of super keys. We need to calculate the number of super keys. For the relation schema or with attributes E, F, G, H. How many attributes are? 1, 2, 3, 4. With E as a key. Sir, actually some people will say instead of candidate key, simply they will say key. Key means it is a minimal set of attributes which can be used to identify the records in a claim. Okay. So totally how many attributes we are having, sir? We are having totally 4. We are having totally four attributes E, F, G, H. Among these, E is mandatory because it is the candidate key. The remaining three, what are the remaining three, sir? F, G, H. These three are optional. 
so two two options so what is the number of super keys the number of super keys is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 2 cube that is equal to 8 is that okay sir the next one is foreign king what is a foreign king a foreign king is an attribute which is used to link two tables together via primary key so let me explain with an example sir suppose we have two tables the first table is student with the four attributes student id name age and department id the department id in which he is studying and we have one more relation department with attributes department id department name and black number okay now let us assume that for department department id is the primary key this is our primary key let us assume so this is my primary key now this primary key is used in some other table that means someone else is using this primary key as a reference so the student table is using this department id actually this department id is not the original attribute of student he is using someone else attribute so this department id is not student attribute he is using someone else so this is a foreigner from other table department so this is an example of a foreign key is that clear sir so the attribute which is a primary key of one table and which is used in another table for reference that is called foreign key okay the primary key or the table in which the primary key is present that is called referred table or reference table and the table which is using that primary key or the table in which my foreign key is present that is called referring table is that clear sir so foreign key means it is not the original attribute of that particular relation he is taking or he is borrowing the attribute of someone else okay the borrower who is owning that prime attribute is the Refer table and the person who is using it he is called referring table is that clear sir so this is about the foreign key so this is about the types of keys in next session we will discuss entity and referential integrity constraints thank you